Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here. Okay, so I was in the process of getting ready to make some fabric sheets to print on and I thought I would bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing. I kind of talked about it in, uh, I believe, my previous video. But for those of you that are new or you know, just joining me or that you didn't happen to catch that part, let me explain about it. But first of all, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing fabulously. Oh my goodness, guys. This is, we're getting to the end of October. Can you believe it? <gasps> Sunday is November 1st. Wow. Anyway, okay, so let me explain to you what I am doing here. Um, as many of you know, you can print on fabric and you, you know, I mean, it's amazing, but if you've ever purchased the fabric sheets in the quilting stores or wherever you might find them, they're not very inexpensive. And so what I've been working on and if you want to take a look and see, you can go to my playlist um, for I Spy Christmas Journal Covers. And I have done a process of three videos to show you how I am making these. Um, this one obviously is going to be pink Christmas. Yes! <laughs> Love me some pink. Okay. So, what I found when I started looking for a lot of Christmas fabric to do a pink journal, there were not a lot of images available. So, what I did was I spent a good share of time on Pinterest and uh, uh, taking a look at some of what I had to bring out pink Christmas. And with the pink, I'm combining like the blues and the greens, you know, the pastel -y colors, but highlighting pinks. And I have come across several images that I'm putting together. Um, I won't have it ready f when this uh, episode or this uh, video is up that you're seeing it, but... It will be shortly where I am including a digital download so that if you're looking to do something of this nature, that I can save you that time and effort because I spent hours yesterday and today on on the internet and sizing and resizing and finding and making sure it's not copyright, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I will be putting that I, and these are some of the images that I printed out and then I tweaked it and added more images, changed the sizes a little bit and whatnot. But I want to show you, these, these are all fabric. These are all fabric. Now these two, I purchased some fabric and I was able, this was on the same bolt, these images. So that was kind of fun. Um, but some of these, anyway, that's what has got me thinking about the printing on fabric. I'm going to move that off to the side. So you will need a few things if you're planning on doing this. You will need white cotton to print on. Um, it, I would recommend kind of a mid or a high quality. I don't recommend a real cheap cotton fabric because once you print on it, it'll be floppy and the, uh, the thread count will be much less and you're not going to get the quality of image. And if you're taking the time and effort to do this, you know, but that's up to you. Also, 
you can use some old linens and things that you've got in your stash or sheets, white sheets. It used to be everybody had white sheets, right? And so these are, I'm using, this is from a sheet. And I have four, it's, this is folded over. And I've ironed it. And I'm going to cut my eight and a half by 11. That's the standard sheet of paper here in the United States. For those of you that are out of the country, you want it to be the size that is going to go through your printer. Okay. So that's a main ingredient. The second main ingredient is you're going to need freezer paper. Um, that doesn't look very good, but it is. Just one sec, I will be back. This is what I purchased. And it's, it's actually plastic coated. It has been for a long time. And so that's what I use. And I rip it. Uh, wide enough or long enough on the roll to where I can get two sheets I can get 11 inches in this let's see if I'm out of well yeah I'm as far as I can go okay so what I'm doing now and freezer paper will have a dull side and it has a shiny side and it's pretty easy to tell the difference so I am just folding this in half Okay, and then I'm going to get my rotary cutter and my um, ruler and da -da -da -da. let's see, I want to do this deliberately so that I have little mess. Okay, now I've also done this where I cut my fabric a little bit bigger and I also cut my freezer paper a little bit bigger than what I need and then after I iron it down, then I trim it. But today I'm not doing that. So I am just going to... Cut, and then we will turn, keep those lined up, and we will do our 11 inches. We've got our eight and a half, and 11. Okay, so I now have two sheets of paper. Oh, I now have one sheet of paper. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you believe it? So, you do need to make sure. All right. Maybe this is better anyway, because then you can see me even. All right. I know I've got plenty on this one. We'll just set these aside because I will definitely use the one. All right, so let's do this again. Okay, trying to match those edges. All right, let's see if we have a better outcome this time. This is fine, it gives you the idea, it lets you know. And for this one, I'm keeping the folded edge on this side, and I'm measuring. I have just a little bit more than eight and a half inches over here, so I can trim this side last. That way, my papers will hold together. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having a great day. I really do. It is rainy here. We are full-fledged into fall, but we really don't get snow very often here. And we moved from Pullman, Washington, 
a year ago, year and a half ago, and they've had their first snowfall. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am for those you know I have good friends there that I love and I just surely don't envy them having to shovel the snow okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these sheets and I'm holding them together because this, you know, it's just easier for me to cut more than one at a time, but that's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and measure. So I've definitely got eight and a half. Let's see. Let's. Now I need my fabric rotary cutter. And I'm going to start... This is a little tricky because I want you to be able to see what I'm a doing. See what I'm a doing. And I want to try to line it up with the grain as much as I can. Okay. Voila! And this, of course, will be kept for who knows what kind of wonderful projects. All right. Now we will. Turn that around and so see what I've got going here. So I can go ahead and trim this. I can cut this to the eight and a half by eleven and just be careful when I iron that down. Or I can trim it all again after I iron it down and I'm choosing this time I may be sorry <laughs> but this time I'm cutting to the exact size okay okay so then you have all those wonderful scraps now this part I can't show you but I'm going to talk you through it so, over at my ironing board, and with my iron on high, I'm going to lay this down, shiny side down. This shiny side actually sticks to this, to my fabric. And I want to make sure that I don't have anything, you know, in here that would mar that. So what I'll do is pretend this is my ironing board. I'm laying this down and then I'm picking up my iron, picking up my iron, <laughs> and I'm pressing down, lifting up, pressing down, lifting up, pressing down, lifting up. I do this throughout the whole sheet of paper okay till I know I've got this down then what I will do is I will turn it over and then I will press it down and then I'll go ahead and iron it so that I know it's nice and flat and it's adhered to this so let me just go do that with one of these and show you the finished project and you can take a peek at the at the pretties here <laughs> yes, yes. I'm I'm close by. I just don't have the availability of putting my camera over here unless I get hubby to take it off and handhold it. And he probably would do that for me, but you know, I just want to get this done. So I'm just pressing down getting it all adhered it takes just a you know it, I mean it takes a minute but that's okay because this is a lot cheaper my friends than purchasing 
the fabric sheets. Now, if you have more money than time, I have no problem if you want to purchase them. I've purchased them before myself. I don't have a problem with it at all. But I think it's nice for us to have things that we can do that are reasonable and cost minimal. Okay, here I am. I've got my fabric sheet ready to go. So when I put this in my printer, I'm going to put the fabric face down in my printer. That's how mine prints. You have to know which side of paper your printer prints on. More often than not, it's usually down on the bottom, but that's, you know, you have to check that out. And then I'll print. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to print out two pages, and then I will just show you these when they're finished, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have printed these. As you can see, this turned out great. Um, I have an Epson uh, printer. I, I mean, it's not a super expensive machine, but a person, if you don't have that, you can always put it on a disc from your computer or a one of those little thumbnails or something, or you can uh, email it, send it to your local print shop, and they can print on fabric for you as well. Of course, it'll be more expensive, but it's doable. And what I did was, just to show you, I have just two sheets here. I don't have this blue fabric in my stash and I found it as a background on Pinterest and loved it so I included that and then I decided to go ahead and print one on paper this is my Red River paper and I love the images they're so clear and colorful and as you can see it's much brighter it's more subdued on the fabric than it is because I, I don't have a setting for fabric sheets per se. So, and if any of you have a, a different setting that I should be using, I would absolutely appreciate you sharing that and letting me know. All right, guys, that's it. You know, if you're wanting to do some printing on fabric, it's really pretty easy. Um... Just takes a little bit of effort, but uh, not hard at all to do. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing. And click the bell by the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. We have a good time here. I love my subscribers. I absolutely do. I love you guys. Till next video. Bye now. Have a fabulous day.